The City of Santa Cruz and Soquel Creek Water District are facing water supply challenges as both agencies continue to provide reliable water to our customers while ensuring that we also protect the environment. The City of Santa Cruz serves over 91,000 people and supports over 40,000 jobs in a service area which covers 20 square miles including the entire city, parts of Capitola, some unincorporated areas of the county, and agricultural lands along the north coast. Our entire county relies on local rainfall for their water supply needs. The majority of the city's water supply comes from surface sources, such as rivers and streams. Relying on a water supply system that is nearly all surface water and also all local poses two primary problems. One, having enough water during drought conditions, and two, ensuring that we have enough water left in our rivers and streams to protect the habitat of our endangered and threatened species, such as coho salmon and steelhead trout. Another challenge is that a small amount of our water comes from the ground, which is at risk for seawater intrusion. When the city adopted the Integrated Water Plan in 2005, it included prioritizing conservation. Council also chose to initiate 15% cutbacks during drought conditions. We do not implement all three parts of the city's future water plan, including conservation, drought cutbacks, and a supplemental supply. Our water future could include shortfalls of as high as 40% and some level of mandatory water use restrictions imposed every two to three years. A supplemental supply for the city is needed and we must continue to evaluate the best approach to solve our water supply problems. Soquel Creek Water District provides water to over 37,000 customers from 41st Avenue in Capitola all the way to La Selva Beach. Our responsibility is to provide a safe, clean, and sustainable water supply, not only to our current customers, but also to customers who will live and work here in the next 50 to 100 years or more. Many coastal communities worldwide that rely on groundwater, like us, are experiencing seawater intrusion. This is an irreversible condition where the groundwater levels become low enough that seawater moves inland contaminating the fresh water supply. The groundwater resources currently available to the district are dangerously low. As a primary user of the groundwater basin, we need to reduce our pumping substantially. Water conservation is and will continue to be a priority for the district. In order to prevent seawater intrusion, the Board of Directors recently adopted a policy committing to reducing groundwater pumping by 35% for the next 20 to 30 years. A supplemental supply, such as desalination and water exchange, is needed. If a supplemental supply is not secured, the district may declare an emergency and invoke year-round water rationing that will last 20 to 30 years to limit use and protect the basin. Now, this option carries a greater risk than does the combination of increased conservation and the supplemental supply.